Anna Ferris got her big break in the horror comedy parody Scary Movie back in 2000, and she's managed to build up a pretty impressive career in Hollywood thanks to her comedic talents. Despite the fact that she's been famous for a good part of her adult life, there isn't a whole lot that is known about the mom star, which is why we have collected these 10 things to help you get to know her better. Born to be a comedic performer. When she was young, she would perform a comedy routine with her retainer, who she nicknamed Alex. He was British and she would pretend to go on talk shows with him. She told Conan O'Brien, He was so much smarter than me. I went on Phil Donahue and I would put Alex on my knee and I would sit in front of the mirror. He would help me with everything. She would also stage murder mystery parties with her Barbie dolls. She said, one Barbie would die and the rest of the Barbies would have to figure out who the killer was. It was usually peaches and cream. She's like a Southern Belle Barbie. Getting into acting. Her parents encouraged her to act from a young age and enrolled her in a community drama class for kids. When she was nine, she landed her first professional acting performance in a three-month run of Arthur Miller's play Danger Memory. At the Seattle Repertory Theater, she was paid $250 for her work. While in high school, she performed on stage with a Seattle Repertory Company and in nationally broadcast radio plays, and she also began landing commercial work. She first appeared in a frozen yogurt TV commercial and then in a commercial for Red Robin. After high school, she attended the University of Washington and earned a degree in English literature. Even though she really loves acting, she never really considered it a full-time job. She once wore purple gloves for a three-month period. When Anna Ferris was around eight years old, she wore purple gloves for a three-month period. Why? so she couldn't leave her fingerprints anywhere and be framed for murder by unknown parties. What eight-year-old thinks like that? Divorce. She was married to actor Ben Indra. They met on the set of the 1999 indie flick Lover's Lane and were married in 2004. According to Anna, one reason that her marriage failed was because her career took off, but Ben stalled. The divide became too great, she told Marie Claire. In 2007, she filed for divorce. The following year, their divorce was settled and part of the settlement meant that she had to pay him $900,000, in addition to splitting their property and paying him acting royalties. Wild Phase After her divorce from Ben Indra, Ferris went through a phase where she partied hard. She told Mary Claire, I was like, fuck it, I've got nothing to lose, nobody to support. I wore the same Garfield shirt and jeans for three weeks. I had a running joke with my friend. I hope somebody roofies me tonight. I didn't care what people thought. It didn't take long, however, for her to tire of this lifestyle and abandon it altogether. Plastic Surgery When she starred in the movie The House Bunny, she got collagen lip injections to give her that centerfold look. She ended up regretting it because it was supposed to be temporary, and it ended up taking a while for the pouty lips to disappear entirely. She also wore a seriously padded bra that made her look busty, which she liked. When filming wrapped, she got breast implants to extend that feeling and also had Botox to get rid of the few wrinkles she had. Career Struggles Ferris was up for the role of Elizabeth Housley in Bad Teacher, but it was given to Cameron Diaz. When it comes to auditioning, she finds that she's usually sixth or seventh in line to read a script, and more established actresses like Reese Witherspoon, Cameron Diaz, Natalia Portman, Kate Hudson, Katherine Heigel, and Anna Hathaway are always ahead of her. She regularly punks her mom. Every couple of months, Anna sends her mom a postcard of a risky pinup girl bearing a note on the back that says something like, Hey mom, trying to make it as an actress in LA. Met this great photographer, and he says I'm gonna be a star. Obviously, she's not being serious. She just does it to make her mom laugh, and also to embarrass her when the mailman delivers it to her. She was once too funny for a role. When Anna Ferris auditioned for the role of Claire in Six Feet Under, the creator Alan Ball kept laughing through the audition. Ferris wasn't even trying to be funny, but Ball couldn't hold back the laughter. That's why the role went to Lauren Ambrose instead. Anna Ferris wasn't the right fit for the role because she was just too funny. The Real House Bunny 
The comedic actress originally wanted the house bunny to be about a former girlfriend of Hugh Hefner's who got kicked out of the Playboy Mansion because she won't sleep with him and then returns to her small Christian town and becomes a meth addict. When she suggested this to Karen McCullough, Lutz, and Christine Kiwi Smith, the writers of Legally Blonde and 10 Things I Hate About You, they suggested that it be about a sorority house mom instead of a meth addict so that it would be more commercially viable. Ferris, McCullough, and Smith pitched the house bunny 19 times before Adam Sandler's production company, Happy Madison, picked it up. Ferris had to wait in a lobby for Sandler to pass through so that she could quickly pitch the idea, and he loved her synopsis. It also didn't hurt that she was wearing a miniskirt. 